Welcome everyone. This training video will demonstrate how to use the new feature in SiteWorks 1.44, which now allows the user to load a land XML file directly into SiteWorks during the design creation process. SiteWorks will automatically convert this data file into the VCL format so that it can be used as a design file. For those that don't know, land XML files are open source data files that contain civil engineering and survey management data and they are used to easily transfer data between software packages. Prior to this new functionality, if the user had a LAN XML file that they wanted to use with SiteWorks, they needed to import the file into TBC and then export the data to the preferred format. This video tutorial will cover the complete workflow of importing the LAN XML file during the project creation stage and show how SiteWorks creates the VCL file. We will also look at where the design files are located in the SiteWorks directory structure, then export that design to Earthworks and finish off by viewing the design in the Earthworks simulator. Okay, so let's kick off by opening a project and work order. The project is called Land XML Import Demo and the work order is Land XML Import. We will now create a new design let's call it LAN XML Demo. Select the design file and tap the name area. You will now see a list of all the files and folders in the Trimble SCS900 data directory, including XML files. Versions prior to 1.44 did not provide the ability to select an XML file from here. For this demo, we will be using the Trimble Office pickup file and then click on Accept. The screen then shows that the XML file has been selected as the, as the design file and automatically selects design line work because this is extracted from the XML file. For those that have done this before, it is the same functionality for prior versions of SiteWorks when selecting a VCL design file. Also on the screen, there is the option to select stakeout points. Let's just tap on finish. SiteWorks then displays a progress bar while it is converting the LAN XML file to VCL format. When the conversion is complete, the final step of the project setup is to select the desired surface. For this release, no templates, cross sections or corridor surfaces are converted from the XML file and this is due to a limitation of the conversion engine. So for the surface, let's select Trimble Car Park and then tap on Accept. SiteWorks will then display the design in the standard measurement screen ready for pickup, stakeout, etc. Now that SiteWorks has created the VCL file, let's look at where the files are stored. We are now looking at the LAN XML import demo project folder and then drilling down to the designs folder. And then finally, open the newly created LAN XML demo design folder. As can be seen, the newly converted Trimble Office Pickup VCL file is stored here. SiteWorks automatically creates a copy of the XML file in this folder so that there is a record. But this file is not used in the design process and any XML file here will be ignored. One of the advantages of this new functionality is that these designs can now be sent out directly to Earthworks machines. So opening up the SiteWorks menu, select data management, then export to machine. We're going to export a design. There is no support for VCL files in GCS 900, so if any of the GCS 900 displays are selected, such as the CB460, no designs will be available uh, to export. So we'll change the export to Earthworks. The active design will be automatically displayed. Uh, we can see that down here. Then tap on Accept. And you see a message that the export was successful. Now that SiteWorks has exported the design to the USB stick, we can see that the directory structure has been created for use directly in Earthworks. Starting at the project library level and then drilling down to the designs folder. The VCL file can be found. And for the final section of this video, let's look at the design in the Earthworks simulator. There are a number of ways of copying the design over to the simulator. But for this demo, the design has been copied to the simulator projects folder. Well, let's use the operator UI to open the new design. Select the job setup icon. Change to the new land MXL project. 
The design is car park and the surface is Trimble car park. Click on apply and then click on start. The Earthworks Operator UI will show the standard screens including machine position on design, cup fills, etc. We'll now open the simulator. The machine can be moved around on the design. Thank you, that concludes this video.